So looking into our chassis settings now in the drive menu, we can see a few additional options. We can see our driving strategy. Now the driving strategy is going to adjust the aggressiveness of the motion joystick. So for example, if I have my setting of a positive number, so anything up to 10, for example, this is then going to increase the reactivity of when I move the joystick. So I only have to move the joystick a little amount, and that's then going to cause the machine to move forward. Again, if I have the setting to the lower end of the scale, so to the negative end of the scale, that's going to decrease the reactivity. So I'm going to have to move my joystick a lot more before my combine starts to move or pick up speed. Again, the normal position for this, or the factory setting for this, is zero. You can see I also have the effective driving logic for the machine. Now, this is a setting that we tend to leave on and not worry about. What it does is it affects the hydraulic system of the machine, so when operating at low speeds, it is going to be using the most effective power available. Again, this only happens between a set speed of around about 4 to 10 kilometers an hour, so realistically, when we're in the harvesting conditions. Our set values for pulses per 100 meters is the metering system or the measurement system that either our tracks or our wheels are using to then ratio the speed or the distance that we've traveled. So again, we only really need to change this setting if we have changed the tires or changed the tracks on the machine. The TerraTrack setting is a setting that we can go in to adjust, and we can actually set the height that the TerraTracks are working at. So obviously, with normal conditions, we will use the tracks at a normal mode. We can also then elevate the tracks so we can lift them slightly or we can have them set to a high mode. So again, if we maybe need to lift up the front track, so if we're trying to do work or any maintenance to the front of the machine, or maybe we've got a cutter bar on and we're trying to lift over those gateways, what we can do is we can set the track to a higher level. We can also do this by pressing the manual button on the auto contour selection on the joystick itself. If I press and hold this button, what it's gonna do is as the cutter bar lifts the utmost of its travel, if I then kept it pressed and held, the machine or the front of the machine will then start to lift up. Again, I can also learn the TerraTrack settings for these modes, just the same way I can learn an end stop or a learning procedure on my machine. However, this is only something we would really do if, again, we were to change the track settings. And finally, you can also see our automatic parking brake on the machine. With our new generation Alexian, we also have automatic parking or automatic park brake available on the machine. With the joystick in the ground neutral position, or the neutral middle position, you will then see the parking sign of the P turn to green. What that means, what the green P is going to mean is that when I then move the joystick away, the automatic park brake is disengaged, and I can then carry on my use. With the park brake in the red symbol, this means that I have the foot brake in effect. So effectively, if I am putting my machine away for long periods of time, or I'm on a bank, and I do not want to use the automatic park brake, I can press down on my parking pedal inside the cab, and that's then going to fully enable the park brake.